Hi, I'm Phil Burt, Phil Burt Innovation, and I was the head physio at Brit Cycling for 12 years, um, a help set up Team Sky. Uh, I have a niche set of skills in setting human beings up on bikes, and that's what this YouTube channel is about. It's about helping you achieve your goals on the bike, whether that be a resolution of pain, comfort, sustainability, improving your performance, whatever it may be. Now, today's video is, I'm gonna say, quite a controversial thing. Not everybody needs a bike fit. Now, you might think that's quite strange me saying that, but let's explain that. If we have a look at a normal distribution curve of the population, and you look at 75% of the people in the middle, they can probably get a long way to finding their optimal bike position by using online tools, books, like my book, Phil Burt Bike Fit, has some guides in there that help you get to the easier uh, the quick solution of maybe your knee pain or the optimal seat height. But, unfortunately, some people who have abnormal needs or medical needs they exist on the extremities of that normal distribution curve and for very good reasons they might need more help in achieving that and that's those people who may then want to invest in um, bike sizing or bike fitting or dynamic bike fitting it goes up scales and scales and scales but how do you know where you are on that distribution graph yeah and whether you need a bike fit or not well consider these couple of concepts are you a macro absorber or a micro adjuster so let me explain that a little bit. Those are concepts I came up with. Um, macro absorbers are the people, the athletes I work with, who just seem to never get broken. You know, they adapt to everything. You might think about the kid in school who was good at every sport and never got broken and just seemed to adapt to every training. And these are the people who, you know, some of the most successful sporting people in the world, in my opinion, because they just are able to train longer and harder and never break down. And they have a broad base of accepting and adapting to things, not only so in the cycling world, adapting to the positional changes, for example. Um, micro adjusters, however, are those people, and it may resonate with you being one of those, who the smallest change in your training or your routine in your working week or whether you've not done your stretching or a change in your bike position results in niggles, pain, injury or underperformance. To these people, the world they interact with the environment is really, really important. And those people, basically their bike fit window, remember there is no ideal position, if you ask me, um, our ideal bike position in terms of an exact number of saddle height where someone should sit, but what there is is a window where you should sit in. And that window is a lot narrower maybe for those people who are micro adjusters. And being smaller, they probably need more help to make sure they're in that bike fit window so that they're either pain free, comfy and performing well. Okay, so to clarify, one of our key philosophies and pillars of fit is the bike is adjustable, but the rider is adaptable. We've just seen how different people have different levels of adaptability. So if your, adap your adaptability is less, in other words, your bike window therefore will be smaller, that's where the bike has to be basically come to meet you. It's a marriage, so we adjust the bike to meet you. Sometimes people come in for a bike fit and we work out that the bike position is actually where it should be and they need to work on themselves, but they might not know what to do. So can you adapt to that position? That's when it's more performance orientated. But if you just want to ride your bike and be comfortable sometimes, you don't want to worry about doing lots of stretches, it might well be that small adjustments to your bike setup and small can make a really big difference sometimes, be just a thing for you. If you leave your comments below, I'll try and answer them. 